What's up, brothers and sisters? I hope you guys are having such a blessed day so far. Um, I want to talk to you guys about a dream that I had last night. But before I do, I want to say how great God is, how amazing and faithful he is, okay? Guys, last night before, sorry, not last night, right after I got out of the gym yesterday around like 6 p.m., I got into the car, I came home, I sat in the driveway. That's usually, you know, I pray a little bit. And I prayed, Lord, Father God, and I was just soaking in his presence. And I was just like, Lord Jesus, if it's in your will, Father God, I would love, Lord Jesus, a vision or a dream. A vision or a dream, Father God, if it's in your will. And he answered me and he gave me one and I would love to share with you guys. And before I do, I just want to clarify. I know a lot of people say, oh, you know, you have to discern. You know, not every dream is from God. Well, I understand that. And But this dream in particular... I feel like it's just a word of encouragement that I can tell you guys of how soon we are to his soon return. But before you know that, the rapture. And so, yeah, let me get started. Um, I was at my school and I was in the bathroom and, you know, this generation is pretty insane with, you know, jewels. And that's what it is, vapes and e-cigarettes. So in the bathroom, I go in and there's so many kids, you know, hitting the jewel smoking and I'm just like okay whatever washing my hands and then I get out or I, I stop washing my hands and then um the exit is a little bit blocked and they're like no hold on they're all sketched right now they're all sketched and like oh teacher's coming hold up hold up hold up hold up and I'm like no hold on let me pass let me get out let me get out and then as soon as I turn the corner to get out from like having to push past a whole bunch of people a teacher comes to me and she's like come here right now and she yells at me and she goes you're expelled for 60 days and i'm just like oh no because in my dream i only had like i remember in my dream i only had 30 days until graduation and i'm like no way i don't get to graduate so i start running i don't know why but i start running and i start just you know going all the way to my car i get in my car and it's nighttime it's like nighttime and i'm with my friend okay i'm with my friend and you know my friend I, i'm not gonna say his name but my particular friend I don't know his heart and I don't know if he believe in believes Jesus because I've talked to him about it and it's more of like a acquaintance than a best friend but um I talked to him about Jesus one time and you know he wasn't sure he get, he was one of those people who was like hey do you believe in Jesus it's like I don't know I need more proof you know so anyway I was in the car driving with him and I don't know why right so maybe it's a sign that I should go talk to him and I will probably I will after this but um I was in the car and we're driving on the highway and it's kind of like you know I guess the sun just set so it's like a, you can see a little bit of light but it's more dark and I remember we we're like driving on the highway and then we hear this pew, like like a shooting star like pew, and I look and there's orbs of light that just start going up but they're like not straight up it's it's like swiveling all the way up from everywhere from every direction it's just like everyone it's so beautiful it's beautiful bright white and I'm like, oh, the rapture. And I'm waiting. I'm getting so excited. I'm like, all right, I'm going to get raptured. I'm going to get raptured. And I realized, you know, I had a conscience and understanding that my friend didn't have Jesus. And I'm like, the rapture's happening. Uh, and I, I'm pretty sure I said, don't take the mark of the beast. So I'm thinking, okay, let's turn. Let's stop. Because I was driving like 70 miles per hour. And I didn't want to, you know, disappear and then him crash. So I stopped. And as soon as I stopped, boom. I remember I like literally, you know, you have a glass in front of your car and I went through the glass and then I start going to the sky. But I remember, guys, the feeling, the feeling that I had going into the air. OK, and I remember that I, it's like a fire. I was surrounded by a flame, a fire going into the sky. And I remember literally my whole body like shed like I don't even know, like, a, you know, like a snake, how it sheds its skin. Well, I shed my skin. And like the fire burned it off me and I shed my skin into my new glorified body. I remember that. And it, the feeling, guys, I'm telling you, I, there's no words to explain the feeling that I felt. I remember crying, tears of joy. I'm going with my Lord. I'm going with my Lord and Savior, Jesus. And I was so excited. I was so, so excited. And we got, you know, high enough into the sky where I entered this room. It was like a wedding room. And I'm looking around and I'm just like yes yes we're here you know i didn't see jesus i was just around a whole bunch of believers who got raptured and they're all just like it happened it happened and we're all hugging each other and it was just the best feeling in the world and i remember seeing one of my friends who literally uh 
just accepted Jesus into his heart and, you know, decided to follow him about a month ago. And I did the salvation prayer with him. And I'm like, Seth, Seth, dude, give me a hug. Aren't you happy that you accepted Jesus? And he's just like, yes. So I hope, you know, that was my dream. And then it ended. I woke up. But, oh, man, that dream was just the feeling that I had, guys, of shedding out of my skin of the flesh into the new glorified body was the best feeling in the world. And I hope that encouraged some of you guys. I mean, you know, the dreams that I have, I don't think they're going to happen exactly how it is. But it's more of just like, hey, the rapture's soon, you know, and I can hopefully give a word of encouragement to you guys out there who are getting weary because I know that I'm growing weary. But it's okay because we need to occupy, occupy and redeem the time. Just tell as many lost people about Jesus as we can. But, yeah, that was my dream. I hope you guys enjoyed, you know, a little bit of a word of encouragement. But uh, I'm going to start at the end of each video. I'm going to try to read a verse. So I feel like, you know, God showed me this verse and, you know, kind of goes a little bit with how the end times and, like, how we're how we should be living. So this is First John um, 2nd verse 28 through 29 living as children of god and now dear children remain in fellowship with christ so that when he returns you will be full of courage and not shrink back from him in shame since we know that christ is righteous we also know that all who do what is right are god's children so that's it that's all i wanted to say um just remember to read your word, feed your spirit every single day. Uh, hang in there because we're going home. We're going to our eternal home where we're going to be with our Lord and Savior, our creator forever. No pain, no sorrow, pure joy and pure worship and pure love. So I love all of you guys so much. Hope you guys have a good rest of your night. God bless.